Carberry and I'm going to teach you how I make royal icing. All right, so first you get your mixing bowl. Hopefully you have one of these handy dandy kitchen aids here. Makes life easier. And then you're going to need meringue powder. You're going to need uh, two pounds of powdered sugar, um, some plastic wrap, a container to put it in. And you want everything to be grease free because grease actually breaks down royal icing. Okay, so first I've got my powdered sugar in the bowl. Go ahead and pop it on here. The blade on. Okay, and you can even, I'll yeah, wait to move that up. All right, then I've got my meringue powder. So you just get your favorite brand of meringue powder here. And I have six tablespoons already measured out here. Just gonna pop that in. Okay, and then I will lift this up and I actually like to start to mix it slowly. Is it slowly? And then I'll start to add some water. So I use approximately a half a cup of water, okay? Just room temperature. And I say approximately because it kind of depends. I like to make my royal icing stiff because you can always thin it down later to do, um, you know, flood work and things like that on your royal icing cookies. Sometimes, um, depending on, you, you know, the weather and things like that, it might just slightly differ how much water you use, but it's always going to be around a half a cup, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. So we're just going to mix a little at a time. Once it gets all incorporated, it's going to have kind of a, a yellow color to it, a yellow tint. And then we're gonna put it on to, we're gonna scrape the bowl, we're gonna put it on to a higher speed, and then we're gonna keep mixing it until it's actually white in color. Okay. And I'm gonna stop it right now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like before I mix it, put it on high speed, just so you can kind of get an idea. And pop this down and I'll tilt this forward and show you just like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna pop it back on. Okay, so I, I don't usually stop it, I was just doing that for your benefit. Pop it back up, mix it, start to mix it up quite a bit, and then I'll stop it, scrape the bowl, and then continue to mix. You don't want it to be too watery. If it's too watery at this point, it can become more, even more lumpy than you want it to be. If you do add more, too much water, you can just add a little bit more powdered sugar to it. It's looking good. All right, so I'm gonna stop it, show it to you again, and then scrape it down. Okay, so see that? It's already incorporated. Just scrape it down and then I'm going to go ahead and mix it again um, until it's a little bit more white in color. So I can actually see, see this is why I'm scraping it. See that sugar that's down there at the base? You want to make sure that you get all that incorporated now because if you don't and then when you go to empty the bowl later, that will be in your royal icing and if you're using a fine tip like number one, number two, that sugar can actually get stuck in your tip and then it's gonna be a little frustrating when you're doing your piping. There are other methods of making royal icing. You can use egg whites and powdered sugar. Uh, for royal icing cookies, I prefer this method. Okay, back on we go. And we will be ready to ice anything in the Cookies, if you wanna make figures, pipe figures and let them dry. Okay, so now I just move the speed up. It's not on full, it's about medium. And we're just gonna let this mix for anywhere between like three to seven minutes. We'll be back. All right, we're back and we are ready to place this in our bowl. 
for storage. Okay, so it's more a white in color now. We want a grease-free container. So I kind of usually save certain ones for royal icing. And then I'll just go ahead and pop this in. Uh, you can keep it for about two weeks. Um, I usually don't like to keep it for longer than that. And then you just want to kind of mix it back up before you use it. What usually happens is, um, even the next day, what will happen is the liquid will separate a little bit down to the bottom of the royal icing. And what you want to do is um, mix it up. Some people think that they need to add, like it's dried out, that you need to add more water to it at that point, but you don't want to do that. You just want to mix it all back together. And then you can color this um, with just regular gel food colors. If you need it to be thinned down, then all you do is add a little bit more water. But you want it to look like this. You want it to have more of a matte finish. If, if it looks shiny at this point, then you either haven't mixed it enough or there might have been grease or something um, inside your bowl or on your paddle. Okay. So if it's still, if it is shiny, then I would just go ahead and mix it up a little bit more, a little longer. Um, if it's still shiny, then you could add a little bit more of the powdered sugar to it. Alright, now for storage, once I get it all in here, you want to make sure that you keep it covered because royal icing, that means that royal icing it gets dry. When it gets dry, it gets hard. Okay, and you don't want that. So what I'll do is place, get everything there in the bowl use a paper towel and just kind of wipe that edge because any of this the air is going to hit is going to dry. There we go. And then I like to take some plastic wrap and I place it right over the top and I make sure that I get into all of those little nooks and crannies there. And I'll even leave this coming over the edge like that. And that's just going to help it to seal a little bit more. Go ahead and put the lid on. Get any air out like that. And then you just want to store this at room temperature. Okay, you never put it in the refrigerator. Even after you've iced with uh, royal icing, you never put it in the refrigerator because it actually melts it. All right, so that's how easy it is to make royal icing. We'll catch you next time.